Hello, uh, my name is Josh Taniyuki, and I am going to be talking about the NBA lockout for my first presentation. And let me go and start off. I have this um, NBA lockout, uh, let's see, like course that I made so I y'all can follow along. Um, I'm going to explain what an NBA lockout is um, to start off. Um, as many of you know, the National Basketball Association is going through uh, a big dilemma right now, which is called an NBA lockout, which means no games are to be played and no teams are able to practice due to complications between the players and the association. Um, when two parties are not meeting a mutual agreement money-wise, they have this. Um, uh, if some players want more money than what the NBA is trying to give them and they they, they don't match out, um, they, they go through this NBA lockout. And uh, I'm going to be discussing and talking about why it's so important, how it affects more than players in the NBA, and how it affects us as an economy. Um, which leads me to my next one, how and why it affects us all. First off, to me, in my in my opinion, this this affects people who don't care about the NBA, who don't care about any anything that has to do with basketball, because it affects us in, in, in our economy. Um, obviously, when the players aren't playing in their arenas, we uh, we aren't the arenas aren't getting um, what is the word aren't aren't getting used, and our money, our taxes. Um, keeping that arena going is going to that so it's like us paying for nothing and that affects us that our taxes go to that um, it affects you it affects people who do taxes and they may not notice that but it does another thing is that people who love the game of basketball don't obviously get to watch NBA basketball when people get season tickets ahead of time when people get um, tickets a year earlier for the for the for the next season doesn't work out because NBA lockout and no one can do anything about that so it has to do with money wise a lot and it, and it sucks um, it sucks a lot too and and the reason that I think what, what this, this is going to lead me to my next one how we are going to how we go about fixing the situation and how it can be avoided is you just got to think back to why you play basketball why the NBA players are where they're at, you know. What the NBA players are there because of the NBA Association. The NBA Association is there is because of all the talent the NBA players bring. They find a mutual agreement, and I think if they both saw that, we would come to we would come to some agreement. If the NBA players would not sort of go away to where their head was when they came into the game, which is love and passion and and and, and basketball then I think they wouldn't be worrying about money, you know? And I think if the association would say, okay, look, these players are here, and the reason why we're making money is because people pay money to see this talent, um, they, could, they, could all come to a, they could all come to an agreement. Um, this is a really big deal for me because I'm a big sports fan and I love basketball. Um, but I chose this topic for other people who aren't in the NBA and aren't into basketball to realize how this affects a lot of people and it's a big deal even though people may not think it's a big deal it really is um, I, I, I hate the situation it is right now um, I think they can do better and I, I, I think both parties from both sides can come come to an agreement because the, it, it, it's not it's not worth doing it's not worth going through all this for this for this you know it, it's not and we, we lose our money um, for 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 no, numerous reasons like I like I stated so this is a big this is a big deal for me um, right now they are talking about you know fixing it so but yeah I just wanted to I just wanted to make my presentation about the NBA lockout right now and um, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, hope this is a good video for you. My name is Josh Taniyuki. If you have any questions about anything, um, you can email me at my uh, Alamo email and let me know from there. So I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you.